Alright, welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, for your daily dose of Minecraft entertainment. And it looks like we already have some free diamonds down here as we continue to explore the actual area where the stronghold is located. Now, I've actually found a way to migrate from the actual stronghold. And here I am now going through Lord only knows what area. It looks like I'm going to have to make a sacrifice in order to figure out how to get this diamond. Well, I could always use more torches, so I'm going to have to sacrifice the last of my, uh, my sticks. But, you know, hey, four diamonds so far? I can't complain. Diamonds are pretty much hard to come by as it is, so pulling those few up, definite godsend. Now, at some point, I'm going to get out of here and actually make a str uh, not a stronghold, but a... Ow. Hey. Stupid zombie. I want to actually get out of here and make a lair somewhere for myself. That way I can actually go back and... Damn it! I can go back and... Hey! There. Go burn in some lava. As I was saying, I want to go back and make a stronghold for myself. So I can go back and set up a bed and a place for all my diamonds and all to be stored. I do have some roughly seven diamonds back home, but I don't know if I want to go all the way back there just yet. So now it's just a matter of figuring out how I'm going to do this. And how off am I from where the actual stronghold's located? Because it's located right on an actual chasm. Well, first I should go back and see what level I'm on where I found those diamonds. And there are monsters prevalent everywhere to this area. Christ. Just trying to get anything done seems like it's almost Mission Impossible because we got all these critters climbing around. I've done killed probably about four or five skeletons since I've moved down here. And the creepers and all ain't making my job easy. Of course, we find more iron over here. Gotta love the fact that there's a ton of iron everywhere. It seems to be the main staple for all my armor and gear, so I can't give up on it. Okay, we got another two spiders coming up, it looks like. There's one. Oh, okay, here we go. Come on. Well, whatever. You'll just stay down there, and I guess you'll come when you come. Okay, so where was those diamonds located? Okay, they were around here. Good lord! Stop interrupting. I don't even know how he came or where he came from. Okay. He came from the optimal range to find diamonds, so that's good to know. Alright, let's try to backtrack some and see where the exit was at. This is actually more confusing than I thought it would be. Getting down is always the easy part. Getting back is always the hardest. Even with torches, there's just so many freaking passageways in this this, uh, this whole shaft. It's ridiculous. At least we have plenty of coal now, but the only problem is we don't have enough sticks to make any more torches. And the fact of the matter is, there's so many passageways down here, it's not even funny anymore. Which one leads back is always the good question. I'm pretty sure this was the one that I found myself sliding down at some point. Of course, we got a slime flopping around here somewhere. Get up there. Ah, crap. Get up there. Get. Get up there. There we go. Well, that took hard enough. Okay, now I'm gonna have a slight problem with food here shortly. Good lord, it sounds like the living dead up here. Right, now we're getting to some familiar territory? Maybe? Possibly? Yeah, okay. Well, we've done seen that area. 
seen that area, and he's gonna keep us pinned down. How lovely. So we're stuck in a dark, dank place. If I had to take a guess, this would probably be right below the portal. Oh! What in the world? Yeah, this is like right below the portal. Shoot. Ah! Get out of here. Good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, well, maybe this isn't the one I came out of. Oh! Where did I come out? Crap on a crap cracker. That's it. Go in the fire. Go in the fire. What are these things? Good God. Where did I end up at? I know it wasn't the place I was at before. Okay, maybe it was. But still. Okay, that's right. I forgot the torch don't work on these things. It does no good. Alright, well, we got back to here the hard way. How I even got back down there was a different story. Okay, now we're in another room where we have a fountain. Interesting. This whole spawn here is, like, weird. It's a cave with a chasm with Lord knows what. So every twist and turn could hide, uh, interesting things. And of course, that's just nothing. Now what? I was going to say, I just left there. There was nothing in there. This door is, like, permanently stuck open for some reason. Oh, well. Once again, another dead end. What an interesting place. Now they got a door here for no apparent reason because the wall. Okay, well that room's still the same. Anything down here? Yeah, it's just a portal still. I have to create some kind of way to designate this as the place to be. Hmm. Alright, well I'm going to have to designate some food right now or I'll wind up starving to death. I'm actually coming up with my last bowl of mushroom stew. This is not good. Okay. Well, there went my last bowl. Might as well see what's down here now. Crap. This could not be good. Ow. And I hear some unwanted guests down here. No, no, no. No, no, stay back. Stay back. Stupid creeper. I'm not even worried about the experience. I just want to not die down here. Especially with level 10, I can, can get a pretty good enchant with this. Okay, and there's, of course, another chasm here, because why not? The question is, how are we going to maneuver around here? I believe there was a ladder somewhere. Was it over here? Yes, here it was. Hmm. What an interesting library, the hovering library. With Creeper to boot. Stay back. Back? Thank you. What a wild, wacky place. Okay. Do I even want to attempt this to explore down here? Ow! What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Crap. Nothing worth looking in here for. Except one big loophole. Another empty room? Or maybe not. Who knows? Just a bunch of corridors. A dimly lit torch. 
Now I don't know exactly where this is at. I believe I've been here before. Yes, I have. Okay, let me make a quick ladder back up, cause not much is going on here. Hmm. There we go. What weird, fascinating things to see here. The question is, is this it? Is there anything else I should be looking for? Am I actually going to get past this door? There we go. Okay, lots of things, just not of lots of hap going on. Oh! Okay, well I got a free door out of it. The door didn't really do much good here anyway, because... <laughs> you just walk right underneath it. We must be coming up back on that portal again, because I'm hearing them hiss and spit and everything else. Spider? Okay, spider's just chilling. Not much here. What a weird, wild place. Hmm. A set of spiral stairs, but where do they go and what good do these do? Well, they take us back here, that's what they do. Back to the library. Okay. This is gonna have to take some investigating to see where all this goes because I don't know. And of course we go back to here. Oh, okay, Mr. Creeper's on the other side. It's like the library maze. Yeah, you stay over there because you're not wanted. And then, of course, we come back up here, which takes us back up to here. Which I think I'll designate this as the area to be. So after all that adventuring and all the checking, we found the end portal. We found... I don't want to say treasures. We did find some goodies. That can be said. But other than that, Stronghold, not really too impressive. Found a couple of diamonds to go back on, but other than that, I want to say I'm a little disappointed what I thought I was going to find. I don't know. So once again, like the nether, this is just one of those areas that should be further explored upon to find out what goes on. But, yeah. Okay, probably should be jotting the coordinates down for this entrance. But, you know, whatever. Just take a quick screenshot of it and we'll go from there because I can always write down later. What do you want? Stupid skeleton, get out of here. I probably can't build a shelter here anyway because I don't have enough supplies. All my main supplies are back at the base. And I'm low on food. But that's not going to stop me from killing a few of these mobs just for experience. Like the skeleton. Dumb thing. At least I could say now I'll have like maybe 11, 12 experience for enchantment. So, good. Now, of course, it's always the adventure of trying to get back home. I think this is just like a little natural, yeah, a little natural lava flow over here. Another skeleton to be harvested. Two-shot kill. I really should go back and work on building that library on the second floor so I can get better enchants. Gotta love having a level 12 or 13 enchant that can do some pretty serious damage. This sword I'm using right now is a level 2 for, for sharpness, so my sword's getting me a pretty good amount. Every so often when I hit these guys. Two shot kills are a lot better than four. Of course it'd be even nicer if I had a diamond sword to do it with. But at least now I'll have... Okay, I'll have enough for a pickaxe and a sword. 
Of course, more exploration will be needed to get more stuff for uh, gear and all, but hey. At least I can get my tools and my, my pickaxe and all back. Now it's, of course, a matter of getting back home. I don't know. I guess all in all, to say the least, the fact that I probably don't have to build a second base around there because getting back here seemed pretty easy. It didn't really take that long once, you know, once everything gets coordinated. You risk running into a nightfall, but I mean, really, even if it was during the day and I ran into a nightfall, it's not necessarily a major problem. I mean, the mobs ain't too hard right now with all my gear. Everything is pretty set up easy, so... Difficulty-wise, I'm on normal, by the way, so... I had one person suggest, you know, maybe bump down the difficulty level so I wouldn't die as much, but... I don't know, to me, that just kind of takes away from the entertainment value, I guess. I mean, even sometimes when I die, I gotta get a little laugh out of it. So we'll cook some of these chickens I picked up along the way. The, the posse is glad to see me come home. Dump some of these extra bricks. I could, I could always go back and get more nether brick. Uh, iron door, which I'm sure I'll find a use for at some point. Okay. One stone brick that I got from there for no reason. Okay, roughly 11 diamond. We'll have to get more of. More coal. I guess I'm going to have to go out and get some, uh, get some wood. So I don't even have any wood to make an axe. How ridiculous is that? I'm not going to sit here and waste, uh... Hmm. Okay. Sound like something was catching fire at first. Might be that nether rack down there I have for display. Keep the, uh... Keep it lit down there. Just a couple more. I'm liking this update now where all these leaves fall. Before they just kind of sat up there and it looked kind of strange. But at least now, it like properly deteriorates, I guess you could say. So that way you don't have to worry about going by and seeing just leaves float in midair for some reason. There we go. Then of course if any saplings happen to fall like that, we'll just go ahead and replant them. It's being green. Friendly to the environment, even. Lord only knows I got like a ton of saplings in here. I don't even use them. I should. Okay, 40. We'll split. We'll split again. I think that's pretty reasonable. Make a quick axe for chopping purposes. There we go. Hold on to this bed because I never know when I'll use it. Sad part here is the fact that I don't even know when I'm going to use some of this stuff. I should put it all in like a, or a better organization. The more organizing. Of course I'm going to have to get more ender pearls for the actual portal. So we'll have a lot of work to do here. That reminds me, I'm going to have to do something with these books. I'm not going to be able to make a lot of shelving, but a little bit's better than none. Let's see. Okay, three shelving. Yeah, like I said, it's better than none. I could probably just put them over here for the time being. Or maybe I'll just do it like this. There we go. Okay, just a little bit more stronger now. Good. Let me see some of these enchants. Eh, roughly about the same. Maybe a little bit more potent. A 10, 11. What's 11? Sharpness 2, okay. So it's pretty much what we were before. Just another sharpness. I'll be taking the food. You can have the actual iron ore again. Now you're going to impede where my food's at. 
Great. The cat's not going to let me have my food. Of course, I'm going to have to get more fire cream or whatever. So I can continue making my fire potions oh. over here. Alright. And uh, we'll let some time pass and we'll go from there. Alright, so while I was smelting up the rest of the ore and getting things straightened up, I actually came across a creeper that was walking around. And he dropped this magical disc, or music disc, actually. And I've heard of those boxes you can craft that actually plays these things. So I'm actually going to attempt it and see what happens. It's music disc C418 cat. So, yeah, I don't know. This one's got me totally confused. I haven't heard any of the tracks, so... I guess I'm just going to have to go ahead and see what this thing costs to create and uh, see what's on the disc. Alright, so to play this music disc, we're going to have to make a jukebox. To make a jukebox, we're going to have to get some wood. And use one diamond. I'm not particularly fond of having to use my diamond to make a jukebox. But hey, whatever. It just gets more usability, so... While I sacrifice one diamond, I gain in, I guess, musical listening. Why not? Okay, so it should be pretty simple to make. It is pretty simple to make, rather. We'll just convert these wooden planks over. We'll just use one diamond, because why not? Well, I didn't want to throw my oak seedlings. That's not exactly what I intended to do. Okay, so here we go. How to make a jukebox quite simple enough. There we go. Now the next question is going to be where to place this thing because I have no idea. Maybe it'll give me a, a reason to use the, the space upstairs. Maybe I could place it over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, that's very neat. I like that. Okay, so it plays the music in the background. When you get done, you right-click it. There's your CD. Huh. I could use this as a CD case. Why not? I'll finally have a use for that thing. So that's pretty cool. Not bad for using one diamond. Of course, trying to find another diamond, uh, yeah, good luck with that. But hey, at least we did something productive in here, besides explore the stronghold, right? I mean, hey, why not? By the way, I didn't kill the creeper to get this. Some of you probably already know how to do it by now, but... In order to get the disc to drop from the creeper itself, you have to position the creeper next to the skeleton. The skeleton has to kill the creeper with one of his arrows for in order for a disc to drop. You'll get them all except for disc 11 for some reason. It doesn't say why you won't get 11. I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure that one out myself, but it seems pretty simple enough and pretty cool, so it might be worth a try to see how many discs I can get. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it entertaining. I'm going to get ready for the next set, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. And if not, just fake it. Take care. <laughs> Thank you.